Hello, Cancer. How are you guys doing? Welcome into this. How, what is the message from your future self? So let's get started. I nearly forgot what I'm saying. Let's clear this area of any previous energies and readings and send the positive vibes through to you. Through to you. First card out I'm going to get is you currently right now. Then we're going to get um, some questions that your future self or would like you to would like us to answer and uh, your future self's energy at the end of the reading. I'm also going to see if I can pick up on the vibes of what your aura color is. Okay, we'll see during the reading when I can pick it up. Seek the truth. Whoa. Seven of Swords energy. Right now, with the Seek the Truth energy, it tells me that you're currently in the space of trying to figure out what's going on with you. With regards to, it can even be a relationship. It can be with regards to which direction you need to take in life. It's almost an energy of you not really being sure of what to do. You also could be worried here that you're making the same mistake over and over again. Whoa. Let's see what Spirit Guide has got to say. Let's have a look and see. What will your, your Spirit Guide, what will your future self <laughs> think? Thank you for, let's have a look and see. In the future, your future self will thank you for being strong. For being strong. We're going to take out these cards and walking away from what does not serve you. Whoa. Your future self is literally saying, and the, I'm finding this so interesting. Your future self is literally saying, focus. Um, your future self will thank you for walk, being strong and walking away from what is not stable. Be strong and walk away from what is not stable in your life right now. If something is not stable, if something is not secure, if something is dragging you, that's the feeling I'm getting. It's like something dragging you along. If that is what's happening currently, you need to be strong with this card, with the Ace of Swords and walk away from it. Um, the next question I want to ask is what should you be focusing on? And we've got the King of Cups in the reverse position. It came out already. Um, you should be focusing on what's going on inside of you. You should be focusing on what people are doing to you. Oh my goodness. Don't. Okay. There is something definitely going on here, Cancer, with regards to this. Uh, there, there's people around you. This can be a relationship. It can be people in general, relationship and people. I'm just saying they sometimes take you for granted. They take what you do for them for granted, everything that you do for them, everything that you give to them, the, the, the role that you play in their lives, how you sometimes manage to pull everything together. They don't really see the things that you're doing or somebody is not seeing what you're doing and they are literally telling you, you need to focus on that. You need to start looking at what you are giving to others and that they are not really appreciating that as well as they're not giving anything back to you. Sometimes people will come to you or a person will come to you and you will do so much for that person. And then when they're done, when they got what they wanted from you, they just walk away and leave you with the hermit card being there. Also Virgo's energy comes up here with the hermit card. It's literally an energy of you being left alone after you've given your wisdom and your understanding and your advice to so many different people and they just go thank you so much and they're gone but when you need help where are they do they really show that much attention back to you it's because you know how to solve problems yeah i feel like you you are the you people come to you for a lot of advice even a person that you're with you always there for that person and sometimes they just kind of like leave you alone that's something that they want you to start paying attention to your future self's going you need to pay attention to that be aware of what's going on around you what does your future self want you to cut out let's see what comes up there wow stop accepting oh my god the seven of swords comes in again Stop accepting this energy that's in your world. You gotta walk away from it. You gotta leave it behind. This is why the seek of see, the seven of swords has come up twice here now in your reading. Um, you have to walk away from what is no longer serving you. You're gonna have to see the truth in a situation. Yeah, with regards to is it your friends, is it your family, is it your lover, your husband, or her wife, whatever this is. Um, they it's like somebody's taking advantage of you. It's like somebody's just you very convenient for them because you always know how to come in and do what is necessary. But at the same time, they don't do anything for you. They end up leaving you alone. And then sometimes when you need the help that from from them, they don't come in and help you. And you left alone like this, sorting out your own emotional problems. You know, I kind of pick up this vibe. I've actually known somebody like this in my life where um, we would have we could have conversations until two o'clock in the morning. But when it's time 
when I need to be able to speak to somebody, they're not there for me until two o'clock in the morning. And that is sometimes the truth that we need to see about people or a specific person. That is not a balanced connection at all. So let's have a look here. Let's get advice from your future self. You may have to let that go. You may have to let that, let that go. Knight of Wands, you're on a journey here of understanding. Oof. Because you know what? If you are in a relationship that's like this, um, you are going to find another connection. Uh, that is going to be a very balanced one. I don't even feel like if this is a relationship, my goodness, if you're married to a person that's doing this to you, this is not a good vibe at all. Because that's somebody that's just, you know, where's the vibe? Where's the love there? You know, if somebody's not giving as much as you're giving, then wh who are they giving to? Where are they putting their attention if it's not to you? Um the thing is, yeah, you got to start asking a lot more questions, especially with regards, this is the Gemini energy that has come up here with the lover's card, with regards to the the love that you're receiving, the the partnerships that you get involved in, the friendships that you have, you need to start asking a lot more questions. This is advice coming from your spirit guide. You need to start going deeper. With the Knight of Wands energy, you must know that Knight of Wands is a knight that asks questions. It's a knight that's seeking answers. And unbelievable, this card is called Seek the Truth. Seek the Truth. I've also noticed um, there's these two sevens that came in that's literally the very same card. The number seven that has popped up here in here twice as well. And um, the seven, it's it's a card of, and not the seven, but the number seven is a card of needing to analyze the card. I keep saying the card. The number seven is literally a number of analyzing. And it's finding it interesting again that the seek the truth is like looking into something. It's like you're studying something. And the seven means analyzing. It means even to detach as well and getting deeper insight into what is happening around you. It's a very interesting connection. A becoming in a, how can I put it? In a way of what is going on around you and what are the interactions with you and other people. You need to start looking deeper into relationships that are around you as well to see like what really is the real connection to the relationship. I feel like a lot of your connections and even relationships are very one-sided kind of energies. They are, you just have, you've been taken advantage of and your future self is going, mm -mm, it's time to see that. It's time to see that who are you surrounding yourself with. A card has fallen. Let me see Oop, if I can reach for it, <laughs> let me just see if I can get it. What is this? Let's have a look and see. Wow. It is the Seven of Pentacles that's literally rocked up. The same card. There's a se you got three sevens, guys. I thought I had a Seven of Pentacles. There's a Five of Pentacles here. This is the Seven of Pentacles. I think it was the previous reading you had Seven of Pentacles. You got three sevens now in your in your reading. That is definitely an energy of their, of your future self going, yeah. You need to start analyzing. You need to start going a bit deeper. You need to start looking. You need to seek the truth about the relationships around you. Um, you're going to have the stability in the future that you want. You're going to have the friendships and the connection and even relationships that are much more stable. Because the Seven of uh, Pentacles energy is literally putting in the work for future stability. And if your future self has already done that, it means as well that you that they've already received some of the friendships and the connections that are much more stable and stronger. I'm looking at the roots that are just coming up here out of the ground, and this is making your future self very happy. I do believe with this energy that your future self has let go and walked of a lot of different walked away from a lot of different people and they are telling you that you will receive the energy that you want to have now um you i was picking up on your aura i kind of picked up picked up on your aura color a while ago already would you believe it's not a very uh common aura color i have to tell you because your aura color has almost got this brown color very beautiful brown almost like chestnut kind of color it's very beautiful um it's and i understand now why people are doing this to you it's because of who you are on a root level um the brown color that's your aura literally talks about being dependent it talks about stability it talks about humility as well so literally you're a very humble person you know but you're also very real and you're very approachable and that energy of being so grounded with the brown is what makes people come in towards you it what makes people so comfortable around you but that's also what's making them take advantage of that energy as 
well. And another thing I'll tell you what needs to be activated a bit more in you, because I almost feel like it's associated with more of a root chakra energy. And I'm finding that so interesting because I'm seeing the roots coming up here as well. Brown aura people are extremely stubborn. <laughs> and maybe you should bring up more of that stubbornness, but not with regards to helping other people, but with regards to how much people are taking from you. It's, you know, the root aura, it means you get a lot of energy from the earth, okay? And um, this brown color, it means you can pull a lot of energy from the earth. You get a lot of uh, energy to get through the day. And that's what also makes you be able to give so much to other people. But you, you need to keep some of that for yourself as well, because it's causing unbalanced relationships. You need to be able to have somebody else that's giving just as much as that you are giving to them. Just because you are a giver of a person doesn't mean that you don't have the right to receive as well. And if there is people in your world that are not giving back to you as you are giving to them, then you need to kind of like start to push that energy out. Sometimes it's okay to say no. There we go. I'm sending all my love and light in your direction. Thank you for watching. Bye.